joins us now. So what was the problem with energy? What did Caterpillar say? So they're blaming it on a couple different things. They're primarily focusing in on the pipeline crunch and the premium basis pays. And then they say that's why they're not really seeing the demand for equipment from fracking companies. But also at the same time, of course, you have fracking companies really looking to rein in their spending as they're under pressure from investors to return more money to them. So it's sort of a dual edged sword here. And what was interesting to me is Caterpillar was much more optimistic on a recovery in oil and gas markets in the back half of the year than the commentary we heard from Halliburton and Schlumberger, which would seem to know fairly well what's happening in those markets. Well, I love that you brought that up because if you take a look at what they said in the call, something like North American land is totally changing. Uh, n not I'm not really sure how you can offset that. I mean, I think they're hoping that once you get these pipelines in place, that that will cause a resurgence in activity there and an uptick in demand. But at the same time, Caterpillar's guidance in the back half of the year. And I think that's part of the reason why you saw the stock down so much is not only are they guiding to the lower end of their range, but there is an option here that maybe they have to take that down in the coming months.